This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Readers, and I've had some requests on the proper functionality or the proper usage of our digital pH testing meter. We have this meter that we came out with oh, about a year ago, and what's going to come in the entire kit is going to be the digital readout, the corded probe, and the probe is actually protected by this case, but the sensor or the, the, the probe surface is right there. Now, the whole thing about that is when you pull this out and expose the probe, every time you go onto a job site, you should do a calibration on the unit and the calibration solutions actually come with it. What I'm gonna pull out right now is the 7.0 pH solution and it's very easy. All you have to do is open up, open up the bottle, put the actual sensor in there, press the calibration button, and it will calibrate to what that solution is. Once it's through flashing, that means it's calibrated to that 7.0. You're gonna pull it out, put it into some distilled water, wipe it off, and do it with the 10.01 solution also. So you'll have a two point calibration to ensure that the meter is calibrated accurately. Now ASTM F710 talks about pH testing and what you need to do. And what you need to do is you need to take distilled or deionized water, you need to have a clean section of concrete and put about an, an inch around of the actual uh, deionized water. Let it sit for 60 seconds. Once it has sat, then you're gonna take the, cert, the probe of the meter, you're gonna put it on there, and you're gonna have an actual reading that you can document to ensure that the pH on the surface of your concrete is not in excess of what it should be based on manufacturer's guidelines for the adhesive and the finished floor products. Once you have that done, clean everything off again with distilled water, put it back into the protective cap and into the hard shell case and it's ready for the next job. I hope that helps. This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters signing off.